Sometimes when you're modeling something in Blender, such as for example this rifle right here, you're going to have to create this kind of knurling texture or pattern on your object. Now modeling this will take you about 6 million vertices, which is obviously not a right way to do it. So you're going to have to do this by creating a normal map. As you can see over here, this model is not that high poly, but it still has this knurling pattern which looks really detailed. So here's how you're going to do this. You're going to model the knurling pattern on a surface. You're going to bake that surface as a normal map, and then you're going to apply that normal map to the part of the model where you need to have the knurling texture. So first of all, create a plane and just move it to the side somewhere. Don't change the scale of this plane, leave it on default. Subdivide the plane, and then use the knife tool to cut out a diamond shape between the vertices created by the subdivision. Now select the middle vertex and also the vertices on the corner of this plane and just move them up a little bit like this. As you can see, this is one little pyramid on the knurling pattern. Now we're going to add an array modifier to this. Just leave the offset properties on default but crank the count to whatever you want. Something like 20 is probably going to work best. Then you can apply that with Control A. Then add another array modifier, but this time set the relative offset to zero on the x-axis and one on the y-axis, or just the other axes which you weren't using before. And set the count to the same number that you set on the first array modifier. And this is now our high poly knurling surface which we're going to bake as a normal map. Apply the array modifier, go to edit mode, select all the geometry on this mesh, make sure to go to mesh, merge by distance, and that's going to connect all these tiles created by the array modifier. Now with all the geometry selected, press Ctrl B and add a tiny bevel by holding down Shift and moving your mouse around. Click to confirm the bevel and in this little bevel menu, set the number of segments to 2 and set the shape to 1. Once you've done that, go to Object Shade Smooth and now the shading on these little pyramids is going to look a little bit nicer. Then go to Top View with 7, zoom in on the surface and select a vertex which is exactly in the middle of one of the pyramids. You want to do this somewhere approximately in the middle of the whole surface. Press Shift S and snap the cursor to that vertex. Then in object mode, add a new plane. And currently this plane covers exactly one pyramid. And now scale this plane by any whole number. It's gonna be perfectly seamless if you do that. Don't scale it by 2.5, scale it by something like 15, but make it as large as you can while still keeping it inside the borders of the surface below. Now lift this plane so it's slightly above the knurling surface. Then go up here to viewport overlays and check face orientation. Currently all the normals are completely fucked in this scene. So we're going to select both of these objects in object mode, then go to edit mode, select all the geometry and press shift N. And if it doesn't turn blue, then check this little inside button and everything should now be blue. Now you can disable this face orientation. Then select a plane and in the shading workspace, add a new material to the plane. In the image text, you generate a new image and we're going to name that knurling normal map. You can set the resolution of the image to whatever you want but default is gonna work fine. Leave everything else on default, the generated type needs to be blank, and check 32-bit float and click OK. Set the color space to non-color. Now select the high poly knurling surface, then shift select the plane, and go to the render properties and switch the cycles. Make sure that you're in cycles. You have to scroll down and open up the bake menu, switch the bake type to normal, Check selected to active and make sure this image texture node here is selected. You can get a little preview of your normal map in this little menu down here. Currently it's just black so we have nothing there at the moment. When you're baking a normal map, you want to reduce your samples to something reasonable like 16. If you have more samples, it slows down the baking process but it doesn't make the normal map any better. So you can probably just get away with one as well. Then just hit bake and you're gonna have to wait a couple of seconds for the normal map to bake. After a few seconds, you're gonna get your beautiful normal map baked over here in the image editor and you have to export this image from Blender. So go over here to these little three lines, go to image, save as, and save it somewhere to your computer. And now you want to apply this knurling to your object. So let's say you have an object right here which already has a texture and it's already UV mapped and everything. And we want to apply the knurling to a surface on the side of this object, the same way that I applied the knurling to this hand grip on this gun. So you're going to select the surface by marking a face, then hold Control and Shift while you're selecting another face. Now you can inset this if you want to, check edge rail, move some edges around or something like that. You can reshape this whatever way you like. And I'm going to mark the edge loops around this area. Then I'll press Ctrl E and mark the seams around this area. And I'll select this entire area. I'll create a new material on this, which I will assign to this area. Currently, this is a blank material, but we're now going to replace this with a material which has the knurling as a normal map. Let's generate a new material for this particular surface. You can change the color for that to whatever you want. You can make it metallic. You can do whatever you want here. And we're going to UV unwrap this little surface right here. Then we're going to add an image texture node. And in that image texture node, we're going to load our knurling. Make sure the color space is down color add a normal map node and you're going to place that normal map between the image texture node and the principal node plug the color into color plug the normal into normal and now you're going to see your knurling pattern on this surface you can control the scale of this texture either by going to the uv editing workspace and then you can select uv map you can scale it you can rotate it you can do whatever you want over here in uv editing or you can add a node wrangler with Control t 
and then you can adjust the scale by putting in the numbers and this gives you a bit more control. You can also rotate on the axes over here. If you don't have your Node Wrangler enabled, go up here to Edit, Preferences, go to the Add-on section and type in a Node Wrangler and just check this add-on right here and now when you select an image texture node and you press Control T, it's going to give you these two nodes so you can map these textures a bit better. If you want to see more videos where I model stuff that people use to kill other people like tanks and guns and knives and all this shit, then subscribe to the channel and I'm going to see you in the next one.